hi guys today i'm going to be sharing with you how pregnancy on with me welcome back to my channel please subscribe like share this video i promise you it's going to be very educative and for um my subscribers who had been with me all this time i know it's been a long time since i dropped the video thank you so much for sticking with me i really really appreciate that um at first i was working and i was um doing well for myself and um at that point we just moved into the uk i think five months since we moved into the uk and um i didn't even know i was pregnant but i knew that something was actually wrong with me i didn't know it was pregnancy i thought i was sick because um i was a bit sick before i left nigeria so i thought i was i was just like the sickness and um it became really worse when i discovered that um if i wanted to cross the road um, my leg would just like seize it would just freeze i wouldn't be able to cross the road and i just i realized it was really that bad and i called the gp and um they just told me that they were going to do some blood tests and boom i realized i was pregnant and also um i also i, I thought it wasn't like maybe they didn't know what they were saying i was scheduled for a cervical cancer screening it was just a routine screening and they were so the, the, the ideal thing is to check if you were pregnant before they did i think the pap smear or something so they checked that and told me oh madam you're pregnant and i had to go get i i mean it sounds like abnormal but i went to um the pharmacy to get like a pregnancy strip just to check by myself and i realized that i was pregnant and they... and to be honest with you i was shocked because um at that point i said oh, do i really want this baby bear it in mind that my first like my daughter was was already four years old but i was just confused because you know we just got into the country we didn't know what was like in store for us and um i panicked i was not gonna lie and also because i was a dependent um we needed the money to like pay bills and haul and i didn't know how i was gonna cope with pregnancy because i just knew it was i don't know maybe that really affected me throughout the pregnancy period maybe because i didn't have enough faith or maybe because i panicked or maybe because i underestimated god i felt oh it's just me like I've, it's me that has been doing this all this while and i need my strength to be able to like gather money without me nothing was gonna happen bills were not going to get paid and all and um i i decided to resign my job i know it was i mean why i decided to resign was because my blood pressure skyrocketed i went to the hospital and for the first um like appointment with the midwife not the hospital now yeah it's just like uh an antenatal place where you see the midwives and when i got there they told me that uh, your blood pressure is like really high and you need to be referred to the hospital so if you're in the uk you know that if you're pregnant um there's a separate place where you go for your antenatal it's a one-on-one -on -one thing with your midwife they know you you speak to them they ask you the issues you have you've had or they ask about your previous pre pregnancy history they follow you back to back if that makes sense if you have any like serious issue they refer you to the hospital so i was referred to the hospital to the blood pressure of hypertensive unit and when i got there they were like oh you have protein in your urine and this could lead to preeclampsia if it's not well managed and this is because of your blood pressure that was that is really high and to be honest i panicked i said oh what's what's going to happen they said let's see if um if you have enough rest that can that can like help you but to be honest with you anytime i try to lift my leg after that time i don't know maybe because of the news i've heard after that time anytime i try to lift my leg it's like i'm dying so i couldn't do anything my heart was like popping out I, I i could not do anything it was bad so i just had to resign my job hoping that oh in a month's time so i gave myself like a month i saved up 
a little bit of money and i said okay what i'm gonna do is save money for a little while i saved money and then i resigned my job and when i resigned my job i said oh in a month's time i'm gonna have to just get out obviously i already have the uk experience i'm gonna get a good job that would at least help us to settle all our bills lo and behold i had i applied i had interviews i couldn't attend these interviews first i was attacked with i was eat with <laughs> with chicken pox it was so bad i had really high temperature i had like pulse on my body like boil that had pulse in it it was my temperature was high i was so hot my arteries was really high i called the hospital i called the gp at first the gp told me to go to the hospital the hospital told me they wouldn't take me because i mean i can infect others with the chicken pox and it's really risky but when my heart rate like became really really high and my blood pressure was now like this blood pressure that i'm talking about was like 200 210 over maybe 140 you know it was extreme it was way bad so i i the the, the 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 ambulance came in took me to the hospital and i was treated but it didn't stop at that i was discharged like i think just i spent like maybe just five hours in the hospital i had drips in i had lots of just to stabilize me after i was stable they asked me to come back home i was dealing with it i kept crying because i was in so much pain i don't know if it was the chicken pox or it was the blood pressure after the episode of the chicken pox, they asked me to do um some I don't know the name now. I'm sorry, I'm not a medical practitioner, but it's something to show that um to show if your child is prone to cerebral palsy or some like um like all these um illnesses like Down syndrome, something like that. So I did it and it came out well, like um the percentage is 0.0001%. But anytime I go to the hospital, these doctors keep like scaring me, telling me, Oh, are you sure you did this? Um I don't know the name now, this particular test. I said, Oh, I've done it, and this is what it says. And they keep telling me, Okay, because of the chicken pox, this child might come out like abnormal, but um and we might not be able to see like the scar the scab on her body like if she has it also in the womb because she already had it and that really scared me and also the blood pressure became really high they gave me meds for it but the meds were not bringing it down one day i was trying to brush my daughter's teeth and i lost function of my hand and my leg so that was like a partial stroke i was rushed to the hospital i've i, I i've been in the hospital from the very like the time i discovered i was pregnant i was in the hospital every week i cried all the time i became so sad because i mean um being sick having to be in the hospital every now and then and feeling so depressed like i i understood what depression mean meant i was so sad for myself i i now started dwelling in self-pity saying oh if i was in nigeria i would have still kept my job i was earning well i was doing well i was doing well for myself back home i wouldn't have of course resigned from my job in nigeria and i would still have been earning so much so i became so so down so depressed and i wasn't even talking to anybody i was just i just bottled everything in i bottled it in i couldn't say anything i just cried to myself i felt so bad for myself wallowed in self-pity and i just kept on doing that and this all of a sudden, I went to the hospital and they told me I had preeclampsia. Now, it was in, the baby was not 10 yet. Before all this time, I was bleeding. Before this preeclampsia issue came up, I was bleeding. And it's not the early stage of pregnancy. It's not implantation. I was just bleeding. I know that some other people are in this um, kind of situation. And I just want to encourage them that you are not alone. I'm, my friend 
sent me a picture of not, not a picture a video of somebody that was pregnant at the same time i was pregnant i was doing so well living life living large and to be honest i it wasn't like i'm a bad person but i just felt so bad for her like so what, what, what like why are you the only one in the world you know that kind of thing i felt bad i felt jealous i i didn't wish her evil of course but i felt really jealous i now started feeling bad i was like why can't my home pregnancy also allow me to do things like this and i my career is like on a pause i got a job at time that that january because I think I let go. I, I let go. I, I told God to please help me. And, you know, the preeclampsia thing, I was in the hospital. It was really bad. I had to have cesarean section. But God came through for me because even after I, I had my baby, you wouldn't know that I had gone through all this because I recovered everything, like, so quickly through the help of god so i'm just saying this just to encourage somebody that is also in my shoes i know we always tend to depend on ourselves we always tend to feel oh without me things cannot go on um i just i i'm so hard working i the strengths i have i have the strengths like I, I don't get tired easily i'm just this i'm that i want you to just leave everything to god at this point i know a lot of people might also be pregnant and might be feeling so depressed might be seeing people doing well and at that point of your life everything is just paused i want you to, to encourage you to tell god to help you i listened to um a message and i said to myself and the, the preacher was saying anytime we tell god to help us he's always available to help us just tell him just say god help me and it was i think um um I, 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 I held on to that when I had the partial stroke. I just kept saying, God help me. God help me. God help me. God help me. And this is me today. My blood pressure is like normal. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I've been able to like um, encourage someone today. Please subscribe, share, and like this video. Thank you. Bye.